Hi everyone. In this video, we'll cover what GKE Enterprise is, how it's different from the standard GKE offering, and what features are included with GKE Enterprise. Before you continue watching, you should already be familiar with basic Kubernetes concepts. Let's start by taking a look at two fictitious companies that are looking for a managed Kubernetes service. SleekChic is a small online boutique looking for the most cost-optimized way to run their containerized workloads. They want a service that can support the traffic spike their site receives during busy sales periods. But since they don't have a dedicated infrastructure team, they'd like a fully automated, scalable Kubernetes service to run everything from microservices to databases to automatic cluster upgrades. Wellness First is a healthcare provider that requires both cloud-based and on-premises infrastructure. They want to reduce the cost of managing their infrastructure while still maintaining security and control over sensitive patient data. As Wellness First plans to increase the number of clinics they manage, they need an environment that can run multiple clusters with several teams managing these clusters. GKE is a good fit for SleekChic. With GKE, you can deploy, manage, and scale containerized applications with ease. It's designed for developers and operators who want to run containerized applications at scale without having to worry about managing the underlying components. This tier provides core functionality, including fully automated cluster lifecycle management, pod and cluster auto-scaling, cost visibility, and it offers both the autopilot and standard operation modes. On the other hand, GKE Enterprise is a good fit for Wellness First. They have more complex organizational needs and require access to enterprise-grade features. You can think of GKE Enterprise as another layer on top of GKE. It's designed for organizations that need to manage complex workloads with multiple clusters and teams, and that require a high level of security, compliance, and governance. And it offers all this with a robust console experience. GKE Enterprise goes beyond the capabilities of standard GKE and provides a range of advanced features that address the critical needs of businesses operating at scale. So let's take a closer look at some of these features. GKE Enterprise introduces the concept of fleets, allowing you to group clusters together and manage them as a single entity from one consistent platform. Whether those clusters are on Google Cloud, across multiple cloud providers, or on-premises, with the new team management feature, you can create multiple teams to run workloads on clusters, set up appropriate access control for each team, and provision resources to teams. With Policy Controller, you're able to meet compliance requirements for your clusters, ensure consistent policy enforcement throughout the organization, and get an overview of any compliance violations. Your security posture is improved as common security concerns are automatically detected and reported across multiple clusters and workloads. This feature also scans containers for known vulnerabilities and surfaces relevant security bulletins that affect your workloads. GKE Enterprise provides a fully managed integrated service mesh to manage the services in your fleet, providing tools for application security, networking, and observability across your mesh. Multi-Cluster Ingress is a service where you can deploy shared load balancing resources for applications across multiple GKE clusters and across regions. And there are many more features included in GKE Enterprise. So to summarize, GKE features are now available in two tiers or editions, the standard tier and the enterprise tier, which includes the core functionality plus a range of advanced features that you can use to improve your productivity and reduce your software deployment times. For more information, check out our documentation. Thanks for watching.